everyone, and welcome to my beautiful Halloween. Now, what's Halloween without some treats? For those who want to look like a snack this year, I have this beautiful pink cotton candy look. She's bronzy and pink perfect for anyone who wants to look cute this Halloween. It's a perfect party look. Now, let's get into this cotton candy. To give my skin a glow, I'm going to be priming using an illuminating primer and I'm going to prime my face and bring that down to my neck and also my chest. To give my skin a bronze glow, I'm going to be using a tinted beauty oil and this will make my skin look super bronzy like I'm a baked delicious dessert. Here I'm using a dewy foundation and a beauty sponge and I'm going to smooth out my skin and add some coverage with this. I'm also going to be blending this down my neck and chest as well. With some concealer, I'm going to be highlighting under my eyes and also the high points of my face. Using a cream bronzer, I'm going to warm up the perimeter of my face, so I'm going to be blending into my cheeks, forehead, and around my chin. I'm going to set all of that in using a translucent powder. We're going to be dipping into some colored pomades and I'm mixing each of these with a touch of white pomade to lighten them up. Here I'm going to fill in my right brow with a light blue pomade and my left brow with a light pink. I'm going to use some concealer to clean up the edges a bit. Using pink and blue glitters, I'm going to be tapping glitter into each brow. Now I'm just going to prime my eyes for eyeshadow. Picking up this beautiful vibrant blue, I'm going to blend the shade all over the lid and into a blown out shape. I'm also going to smoke out the lower lash line with this color too. With a shimmery white shadow, I'm going to pick this up on my fingertip and tap this into the center of my lid. For our right eye, I'm going to pick up a hot pink eyeshadow and blend this in the same manner I did with the blue. Dipping into a metallic pink eyeshadow, I'm going to wet my brush and blend onto the lid and inner corners of the eye. I'm also going to highlight the brow bone with this shade too. With the metallic blue shadow, I'm going to enhance the blue and make it a little more vibrant. Using a dual chrome shadow, this one shifts from white to blue, I'm going to highlight the inner corners and the brow bone. With the white eyeliner, I'm going to fill in my waterline. And now apply black mascara. Using white liquid liner, I'm doing a large white wing. I'm popping on some big dramatic false lashes, and I'm also going to pop on some lower lashes as well. Now I'm going to be picking up the shimmery bronzer, and I'm going to very softly sculpt out my face. Here I'm using a shimmery pink blush, and I'm applying that on the apples of my cheeks, fading into the eyeshadow. I'm also going to apply quite a bit of this blush to the tip of my nose. Using a shimmery white highlight, I'm going to highlight all the high points of my face. I'm using a dewy mist to adhere this glitter that looks a lot like sprinkles. I'm going to spritz my face and then dab on the glitter around the tops of the cheeks, going into the temples. I'm also going to add some rhinestones around my eyes. I'm applying some pink glitter into the inner corner of my right eye and then adding the iridescent blue glitter to my cheeks and I'm just using the dewy mist method to adhere the glitter on. Using a golden highlighter, I'm going to highlight my collarbones and center of my chest. To create the look of icing, I'm using an iridescent white glitter paste and blending that on my chest and shoulders for a wet shine. 
Now here's the best part. I'm adding real pink sprinkles on top of the glitter, just sprinkling them around my shoulders and chest, and also eating them while I do it. For lips, I'm using a hot pink lip tint and then going over that with a hot pink liquid lipstick. With iridescent white glitter, I'm gonna add some shine to the lips. For my top, I created this myself the same way I did for the wig that I am wearing in this look. And I have a DIY coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But this really looks like real cotton candy, and when you pull it a bit, it creates that cotton candy effect. Pop on your cotton candy wig, and the look is complete. This is the final cotton candy look. I hope you loved it, and if you did, be sure you like this video and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you all for tuning in to my beautiful Halloween, and I'll see you next time.